Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon Rios, and I'm currently a rising senior at Washington University in St. Louis studying biomedical engineering. This summer, I am grateful to have had the opportunity to participate in MSRP, where I worked in the Traverso lab in the mechanical engineering department. So a little bit more about my research. According to the CDC, 20 million Americans suffer from chronic digestive diseases, which is about one in every 17 adults in the US. Electrical stimulation of the stomach through mechanical or hormonal modulation is a promising therapeutic intervention, but recent FDA approved therapeutic devices require risky invasive surgery. Instead, the Traverso Lab has developed an ingestible device currently being tested on pig models for non-invasive stimulation of the stomach mucosa for hormone modulation to reduce nausea in patients. However, in order to optimize the mechanical design to ensure reliable targeted stimulation, rapid prototype iteration via a benchtop model is necessary. This is being pursued by an Agaros TBS Phantom, which accurately models the mechanical and electrical properties of real stomach tissue. So what we see here on the left are 3D printed molds that we use to pour the agarose and PBS compositions in, and then we let it solidify. So here are videos. So you can see the agarose undergoing compression testing. That's what you see on the left. And on the right, you see Silgard 184 PDMS, which is just another material that we use. It's a little bit stiffer. And you can see that that's undergoing tension testing. So it's being pulled and pulled until it snaps. So here we, we see are some representative graphs that the software of the mechanical testing machine outputs. So you can see here, this is the elastic region or the linear region of the mechanical behavior. So this is a stress strain curve. So once we take the slope of that linear region given by this red line here, gives us this number here, which is of particular interest to us because that is the stiffness of the material or what's called the Young's modulus. So this is the number that we're ultimately after. So these are some other compositions that I've made and recorded data for. So you can see the relationship is quite direct. So the more agarose you add by mass percent, the stiffer the material is. So here we can see just a visual representation of the Young's modulus versus, stiff, or versus a composition of the material. So you can see it, it quite linearly increases a little bit uh, well, after 1% it does. And so this leads us to some obvious next steps. And what's nice that we can do is we can layer compositions of agaros atop the PDMS to accurately model the layers of the stomach, which we see here. So um, starting from deeper within and getting higher up, it gets thicker and, or stiffer and stiffer. So the the topmost layers of the stomach are very stiff because it's a muscle layer. So that is more indicative of like a PDMS. And then as we dive deeper into the tissue, it gets less stiff. So we can model our composition of agarose to, to model the, the layers of the stomach. Furthermore, we can try to texture the agarose and the PDMS to portray the curvature and the folds of the stomach, which we see here. So one idea we have for that is having a surface that we would pour the agarose onto, but that surface has some indents on it. So we can make it out of aluminum foil or anything else that has like ridges or curves on it. And then once we pour the agarose on it and we can peel it off, it would create a positive in the agarose with that type of texture and indentation that we want. And once we do that, we'll have a database of stiffnesses of various compositions of agarose and we can construct an accurate model of the stomach uh, by referencing the values in the literature, like we said earlier. And this will ultimately allow us to rapidly test the ingestible device that, that we make on the bench top versus in the pig models. So we can go through a lot more um, iterations a lot faster on the bench top, which will save us time and, and hopefully speed up the process of getting this out into the market. So lastly, I would like to thank the Traverso Lab, specifically Gio, who's the faculty mentor, the PI, and my awesome mentor, Jimmy, as well as Sioki for training me. And special thanks to the MSRP directors, Noel and Maria, who made this program super awesome and enjoyable. I had a great time this summer. Thank you, everybody. Take care.